now rise up everyone walk around uh -huh. wherever you are don't sit don't sit walk around and bless god for the month of march that god the month of march is my month of victory victory over the devil victory over my situations victory father lord to your name be all the glory walk around walk around don't sit on your seat just move out walk around as we are moving get out of your seat Go to somewhere and say, Lord, thank you. I have victory over the devil. I have victory over my finances. Oh, Lord, this is my victorious month. I am more than conquerors. I am more than conquerors. My miracle is confirmed. Lord, I bless you. You have begun a good work in my life. Lord, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him, bless him. Bless him. name amen now listen open your mouth and declare what you want for the month of march open your mouth and prophesy into your days open your mouth and prophesy what you desire open your mouth and say lord thank you thank you because it will happen 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 Raise your voice and make a declaration. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Keep standing as I declare to you the word of the Lord. King Hezekiah and his people were happy. Someone say, I am happy. I am happy. Because God has helped them to do all this so quickly. King Hezekiah and his people were happy because God has helped them. That tells me this is your moment of joy. Yeah. And also, this month, the Lord will help you. Yeah. But that help will happen faster than before. Yeah. Therefore, welcome to our season of divine high speed. Yeah. Everything in your life has taken a different turn in the name of Jesus. No more delays over your lives in the name of Jesus. You have entered your season of divine high speed. Everything will speed up in your life. I say everything will be faster than before. That's why you see when you were all dancing, it dawned on me, you should, we should run. Run because everything is going to be faster right now. Hallelujah somebody. You know what we are saying? Listen, what really happened was that when Hezekiah became the king, some of you may not understand the mystery of godliness. When Hezekiah became the king, he began to restore all that was abandoned in Israel. The house of God was locked. But when Hezekiah became the king, he opened the house of the Lord and he gathered the Levites, he gathered the priests and all that were godly minded 
and they began to restore godliness because his father Ahaz was not a good king. But when he became the king, he began to gather the people to restore what was not there. So they opened the house of the Lord and began to carry away the filthiness that was in the house. But something happened. Hezekiah must have taught because an ungodly king had reigned before me. People will not res respond accordingly. But the other way was the reverse. People began to respond. People began to come. And the house of God began to be cleaned. They had expected, listen, they must have expected to finish that work in a month's time. Do you know that they finished that thing before one month? The filthiness that was there for over the years, they accomplished it ahead of time. That is where you have reached. Every delayed plan in your life, every project in your life uh, is receiving the hand of God in a unique way. You are going to finish ahead of time. God will give you resources. Now listen, the scripture says that and God helped them. How did God help them? God touched the people, they brought resources. God touched the people, they responded. So he had material and human resources. Whatever Hezekiah needed arrived ahead of time and everything happened ahead of time. No more delays over your lives in the name of Jesus. If the doctor had said, come tomorrow, tell yourself tomorrow is too far. My healing is taking place right now. Come on, am I talking to somebody? Now, you are going to declare it, receive it, and declare it. Now, say with me, every event in my life, every program in my life, every project in my life will happen faster. It will happen faster. It will happen ahead of time. I receive the hand of God for a high speed over everything in my life. No more delays. No more stagnation. Everything will happen faster and faster, faster and faster. It will be faster now. It will be faster now. Raise your voice and make it as a declaration right now. Declare, 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 declare. Say it loud and clear. My life has changed lane. No more delays. No more, no, 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 no more delays. Everything will be fast. My supply fast. My finances fast. My sales will be very fast. Faster and faster. Faster and faster. Faster and it will be ahead of time. Raise your voice and make that declaration. Say it loud and clear. God is listening to your voice. He wants to honor what you say. He wants to confirm your words. He wants, hey! This is war against stagnation, war against hindrances, war against obstacles. No more delays, no more. No principality, no power, no principality will divert, will divert your blessings again. No more. My income will be faster and will triple. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have declared. Reach your hand like this. Stretch your hands into the month of March. Bless every second and declare no disease, no infirmity, no corona nonsense will come near my door. Father, that virus will never touch anybody in this church. Raise your voice and declare it. No corona anything will come near my dwelling. No disease, no infirmity will touch me. I command you, Passover, 
pass, come on, pass, pass over, pass, pass over, pass over. No danger, no accident. Pass, 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 pass. Hey. Every day will usher in a greater move of God, the blessings of the Lord, a higher living, a higher lifting, a higher rising shall come. God will lift me higher above satanic attack, above satanic oppression. God will take me up. God, Eri Brazai Tuziata. Kilegrebozo, Eri Legrege de Zeke Legrege de Gedege, Uzara Lagada. So shall it be. Father, we dedicate the month of March in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We decree, Lord, that the evil of the day will not touch anyone here. Somebody raise the glory of Amen. Yeah. Father, you have declared this month the month of high speed. Every blessing I command you to accelerate in the name of Jesus. Whoever and whatever and wherever and whatever has been, Father, delaying our blessings, I cancel it and cut it off in the name of Jesus. I raise a standard against delay. Lord, I raise a standard against the spirit of denial. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. I say out in the name of Jesus. Out. I decree everything in your life to run on the first lane. Amen. I decree you to overtake your enemies. Amen. Let the hand of the Lord that was upon Elijah and he overtook Ahab. Oh man. Lord, let that hand come upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. This month you will overtake kings. Amen. I say you will overtake mighty men. Yes, men in authority, we shall overtake them in the name of Jesus. Yes, For the hand of the Lord is upon us. The hand of healing. The hand of glory. Receive it this morning. By the power of the Holy Spirit. A, that amen should be more. Yes, that it take over the month of March. Unload and offload your blessings upon us. Thank you. We cover our lives with the blood of Jesus. Coronavirus, pass over in the name of Jesus. For it is written, and I say it is written, and the plague shall not be upon you when I smite the land of Egypt. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Corona, pass and get out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Touch not my anointed ones. So shall it ever be. Amen. I decree the glory of his health upon our, upon our lives. Amen. Thank you. For in Jesus' precious name we have worshipped. Jam your hands and be seated just for a few minutes. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a wonderful time in the presence of God. Who agrees with me? Anybody here? Rejoice in the Lord and, and Paul says rejoice. Let me read the passage of the, let me explain this passage for you or support it with another passage in the book of Genesis. Let me support it with the book of Genesis 27 verse 20. Genesis 27. Someone is being lifted. Amen. Hello, someone is being lifted. Amen. You know, when driving, if you have an urgent thing, you're chasing, and you're speeding, you don't keep the right lane. You drive on the fast lane. There are lanes made for those who are in a hurry. 
I prophesy into your life, God has changed your lane from today. Nobody received it. I say, God has changed your lane from today. Your finances will never run on a slow lane anymore. While A is happening, B will follow. C will follow. That implies God has lined up your blessings from now. That image should be more. Amen. A louder image, somebody. Amen. Now look at what the book of Genesis says. You know, this is what Jacob quoted. Actually, Jacob made this quoting when he deceived his father. But there is something I saw in that verse. You know, how many of you remember the story of, 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 of Jacob, Jacob when he deceived his father Isaac? He played his father and took the blessing of Esau. And when he brought the meat prepared by the mother, and the father asked him this question, and the answer made a lot of sense to me. And God works in that order. He used this explanation in the wrong, uh, uh, is it in the wrong way? Yeah, he used it deceptively, but he was saying the right thing. It's like using the right currency to deceive somebody. But it's the right currency. Nothing is wrong with the currency. But don't use it to deceive. That's what Jacob did. So I'm taking the right currency to explain something to you. And Isaac said or asked his son, that's Jacob, how is it that you have found it so quickly? How come? I just gave the order. He thought that he was talking to Esau. Hello, you, are you there? He thought it was Esau. And he asked, because it's not long, like some few minutes ago, he called this and said, excuse me, go and prepare me the venison. You know what I love. You've been bringing it. Now, I have seen my days are coming but let me offload the blessings of, of my father Abraham on you, then you will continue from where we stopped. And the mother had it and packaged Jacob. Not quite long. Esau was still in the forest, hunting, toiling. But a divine hand was at work. We'll understand that later. Hello. What Esau went to look for in the wilderness was at home. The taste of the animal Esau went to look for was prepared at home. May God lead you to find at a very close range what others are looking from a distance. Yeah. Oh, you missed the right place to jump and shout a better amen. Yeah. You did not understand. The taste of the animal Isaac was expecting was bushmeat. But the mother knew how to prepare home food to taste like bushmeat. Who is here? So Esau went to hunt. And the mother quickly said, come, come, come. I know what to do. I know how to prepare what your father wants. That thing Esau is looking for. I know how to make it here. See, it was a deceptive package, but there is something I saw there. That what you are looking for outside, God knows how to give it to you. Amen. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Not in a deceptive way this time around, but God is going to give it to you in a very straight way. Amen. That person should shout a better amen. amen. So when eventually Jacob brought it, and he stood. So in the mind of Isaac, it was Esau who was there. And Isaac asked Esau vis-a-vis, -vis, but that was Jacob standing. And he asked because he said, my son. And he said, and Isaac said, unto his son, implying in his mind, Esau, how is it that you have found this animal so quickly? And Jacob responded and he said, because the Lord your God brought it to me. I did not go to look for it. 
I did not struggle to search for it. I was just walking. The animal I'm looking for came to me because there was a hand that brought it. There's a hand that manipulates the affairs of men. There's a hand that guides the affairs of men. I don't know whether someone is here. Look up, look up, look up. God knows how to bring to you what others are looking for. Did Adam pray for a wife? Hello? Is your mind here? Did Adam pray for a wife? And the Lord God brought the woman he had made to the man. Jacob said, it happened so fast. Why? Because the hand of your God was at work. I want to pick this to tell you that God can cause something you are looking for and what others are looking for to come your own way. Amen. I know many of you came abroad to look for money. The good news I want to assure any one of you that will incline to God is that God will bring it your way. Amen. From today, God will make it happen fast for you. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Lord your God brought it to me. Look at it there. Because the Lord your God brought it. It is only God that will make it happen very fast. When others are searching, you will find it faster. I say you will find that thing faster. Because God will make it to come to you. That's the message I have for you. Have you gotten it? That from this month, before you will search for it, it will come to you. Now, let me prophesy, the job you're looking for will locate you. If you believe it, wave your hands and shout amen. amen. If you're in search of business, that business is the one that will locate you. Amen. Uh, that amen is a cheated amen. amen. If you're searching for, if you've been waiting for a husband, look up. Do you know it is God? Have I not told you, told you this story before? About one, uh, a young girl that worked in one restaurant. Who believes what I'm saying is possible? That God can bring it your way. This man traveled to his town in search of a wife. And he entered a restaurant. He was an abroad man. And he went to look for a wife. All that they displayed before him did not pick his interest. So he entered one restaurant to eat. Here comes one girl, one of the girls. She was not the ones at the reception in front where people see. She was the one helping Madame behind when they are cooking. She bring me pepper. Bring this. She will bring. She will bring. But do you know when the Lord wants to bring it your way, He will expose you to that. This man saw every other place only to come and eat here. And that day, that day, the madam said, um, he called her name. Hey, X, Y, Z, say yes, ma. Come and carry this thing and go and keep on the table. Put this one in table A, table B, in table C, and come back. And she, while they, she said yes, ma. So she took what madam gave her and went, came out. Came out. The moment she came out, the eye of this man caught this girl. And she rushed to keep A, B, C. And she went inside again. And the man ate and left. The thing told her, that is your wife. That is your wife. That is your wife. And she came, he came back later. He came back to that restaurant and sat. The girl never came out because she was not in the front seat. She was not the ones to be displayed. But the divine heart had connected already. Somebody should jam our hands for this God. Tell your neighbor, the Lord will bring your wife your way. The Lord will bring your miracle your way. The Lord will bring that money your way. 
Oh, you are not talking. I think it's only for me and my pastor. I said, the Lord will bring that money your way. The Lord will bring that money your way. The Lord will bring that miracle your way. Come on. I, I, am I talking to somebody? The man stood there, came there for days. So one of the days, he just sat down. And he called for the owner of the restaurant. I said, please, there was a day I came in here to eat. And there's a girl I saw. I am looking for a wife. And something told me, that girl is my wife. And the man said, these are all the girls that work here. Brought all the Eliabs and Abinadabs and all of them. <laughs> Come on, are you there? It's like Samuel, all the big and the you know mighty ones. He said, no, no, it's not this one. It's not. He said, there's no other girl. He said, no, there's one girl I saw here. He said, the only girl left is the one helping me behind. She's not. Bring her. Um, this is a true life story. It's not Samuel in the Bible. <laughs> he said, it's an Ethiopian story. And when the girl came out, he said, that's her. That's the girl. That's the girl. She was dirty. She was rough. She was behind. Not wearing any, you know, when you're with Pepe and uh, Rishi Rishi. Are you clean? Come on, are you clean? But there is a hand that brings something your way. Jam your hands for Jesus, somebody here. There is a God that knows how to bring what you're looking for to come your way. And that is what you're going to declare. You are not going to struggle anymore. If you believe it, rise and shout amen. amen. Keep standing as, as we close. I will continue this message next week. Now, say with me, the Lord my God, Lord my God. will bring that miracle my own way. No more struggles. No more tension. The hand of my God is more than powerful. He will bring the money my way. He will bring, I said, the money my way. Now, say to yourself, he will bring that miracle my way. Raise your voice and pray it and make it as a declaration. Whatever I desire will come my way. I will not struggle for it. I have a God. The Lord my God will bring that man my way. He will bring that blessing my way. He will make it to happen in my front. It will happen quickly because God will bring it. It will happen faster because the Lord will surely bring it. God! will happen. It will happen. The Lord will bring it my way. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. As I stand before the Lord I declare to you all the hand that was upon Elijah. Oh come on. And Obadiah found him. He did not look for Obadiah. <laughs> Are you that my Lord Elijah? He said, I am. Go and tell your master, Elijah is here. <laughs> you will not suffer to find your destiny anymore. God will make life easy for you in the name of Jesus. God will 
will intervene ahead of time in the name of Jesus. And the Lord was with Joseph. And the Lord gave him favor in the sight of his master. <laughs> the hand of God that favored Joseph shall favor you in this strange land in the mighty name of Jesus. From now on, everything will happen faster than you plan. Amen. Your marriage will come ahead of time. Amen. That business will happen ahead of time. <laughs> Listen to those of you who have projects, you I declare and decree that project will be finished ahead of time. Hezekiah and brought human and material resources that God will help you from now in the name of Jesus you will finish ahead of schedule father we bless you now say to yourself it will happen faster than before it will happen faster than ever no more delays in my life so shall it be Lift your voice and bless the Lord. If you are new in the church today, come out. Let me pray for you. While others are praying, thanking God. If you are new today, today is your first day. Just come, just come. Let me pray for you and bless you. Don't hesitate. One or two or three persons. Just come stand before me today. Let's agree that things in your life will begin to happen in a strange way. Now I want you to thank God for your family. Everybody thank God for your family and thank God for your business. Thank God for your health. Three things, your family, your business, that's your income and your life. Thank God for it. Father, I release just a token to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I release this token to say thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Accept it and bless us, Lord, and bless me. Father, bless us mightily. Father, receive it with gratitude in our hearts that this month, as you have declared, things will happen faster than before. Thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Walk up, just walk up. Don't mind. No line. Just come and drop your thanksgiving. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Oh, everything turning around for my God. I can see everything turning around. Hey, everything turning around. Oh, everything turning around for my Oh